Hello, everybody. It's MTV Live. Happy Friday. I have like a thing, like a pet peeve where like, I I just don't like when, and it's, I'm actually trying to sit with like, what is it? I don't, I can't stand when people are like, happy Wednesday, happy Tuesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday. I mean, I kind of get Friday for people that like work Monday to Friday, nine to five. I guess the nine to five thing doesn't really matter. But for people that like work, anyways, nonetheless, in an effort to get over my criticisms, happy Friday. Um, it's me, it's Emily Haruko Lieb, um, coming to you for your MTV, MTV for Friday, September 27th. What's up, people? Um, awesome. Okay, the, the, the subject, the topic for this evening comes to you exclusively from my very own dream last night. I had a dream that I was doing some speaking at a hotel and I was talking to entrepreneurs and network marketers and um, small business owners, like people in, you know, business for themselves, people in business. This was my dream. And uh, I didn't actually know that I was going to go live with the message of my dream. And as I was thinking about it throughout the day, I think it, that it's an important one. So this one is dedicated to all of you out there that are in business for yourself, whether you are a network marketer, a social marketer, an entrepreneur, a small business owner. I wanted to bring up the topic of stopping giving other people's no so much power. I forgot my little light. Let's just make this a little bit better now, shall we? Is that a little bit better? It wasn't that bad before, but that is better, isn't it? All right, so um, if you're here and you're watching live, leave a comment. Let me know that you're here. And if you're watching on the replay, leave me a comment and let me know that you are watching on the replay because I would love to engage with you and thank you for watching. Um, all right, so stopping giving someone else's no, so much power. Here's the thing, building a business is a numbers game. It's a numbers game. I know it sounds simple, but you know, in sports, when you're having a slump, your coach will tell you to get back to basics, keep it simple. So I'm taking you guys to like the business foundation. When you're building a business, when you are in business for yourself, whether you are a coach, you're a network marketer, you are, you know, someone that has to generate and create business. It's a numbers game. You have to get in front of as many people as you can. You have to network. You have to promote yourself. You have to um, ask. You have to make asks. You have to be in requests. And what happens is People get so, what happens a lot, not all the time, obviously, what happens a lot with so many people is they get, they make the no mean something. They get turned off by other people's no. They get turned off from their own business, from their own passion by someone else's no. And what happens is when someone hears a no, they make it mean stuff. And this is where I'm supporting you guys to get over the no. Someone else's no doesn't mean that you suck. Someone else's no doesn't mean that you don't have a good product. Someone else's no doesn't mean that you don't have a good service. You're not gonna be for everybody. So building your business is a numbers game. You whether you are a realtor, whether you are a coach, whether you have a service-based business, you're an entrepreneur, you're a network marketer, you sell a product, you're launching a business, you're in a startup, you're uh, hiring and you need staff. Don't let someone else's no stop you from building your vision, from building your dream. Their no doesn't mean that what you got going on isn't great. It just means it's not for them and that's okay. So don't stop yourself from someone else's no. Pay attention when you get a no, how do you handle it? What's your thought process? What's your train of thought? 
Do you make it mean stuff about yourself? Now, I wouldn't be preaching this message if I hadn't personally experienced it. I used to think that when people said no, it meant that I'm not a good coach. I used to think when people said no, they didn't want, or nobody wanted what I had. And what happened was, what I focused on was when anybody would ever say anything positive. Somebody told me once to write all that stuff down. For, for a short period of time, I did. I would remember when people said like, wow, you created a huge breakthrough with me today. Or wow, this conversation changed my life. Or wow, this had an impact in an area that I've been struggling with for a really long time. I started to remember those things. Recently it was, you know, you're the real deal. I loved that one. Um, I got another one that was like, you know, this woman had talked to like three or four different coaches and she couldn't find a fit. And she said, somebody recommended that she talk to me. She said, I think that person was right. I think I'm going to book some sessions with you. Just little things like that. But you know what? Had I let the no's, all the no's that I've got over the years and over time stop me, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm not saying that getting no after no after no doesn't rock, rock you sometimes, not rock in a good way, rock you a little bit sometimes. It does. What, what it means, though, is that you've got to get back in touch with who you are. You've got to get back in touch with what your value is. You've got to get back in touch with what your service is, what your superpower is, what your offer is. Because I promise you, if there is passion behind that offer, somebody out there wants what you have. Somebody out there wants to be on your team. Somebody out there sees the value in what you are bringing to the table. And your job is to find them. And it might mean going through person after person after person after person. The bottom line is you just don't give up. Do not let someone else's no stop you. Do not let someone else's no make you mean stuff, make, make yourself mean stuff about yourself. Someone else's no doesn't mean anything about you. Sure, you might need to improve some skills or maybe you need to refine your offer or there's not, maybe there's not room for growth. Maybe there is room for growth. Let yourself be in that growth process, but don't let it stop you altogether. And don't let, don't make it mean that nobody out there wants what you, nobody out there wants what you have because it's a numbers game. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And don't let those no's stop you. That's my message for you guys on Friday. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching me. And um, I hope that you found this message and this video valuable. Uh, I will be back on Monday because I am going live every Monday to Friday um, from now until November 27th. And if you guys, I've got a, some sp a special um, invitations coming for you guys in October. So stay tuned. And if you're a no to my invitations, that's okay. Um, but that's what I got from you guys today. If you want to know more about me or what I'm up to, I would love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, I would love to hear from you. Please send me a comment or a DM. And I'm sending you all love from my heart to yours. And I will see you guys on Monday. Peace out. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, Insta. Ciao, Facebook. See ya.